we got a patient 30 year old male with history of roadside accident approximately 30 minutes back okay on arrival in the emergency patient was not conscious not oriented to time place in person he was just making incomprehensible sounds he was not able to open the eyes not able to move any limbs uh, the vitals were around blood pressure 130 by 80 pulse rate was around 90 per minute saturation was 87 percent on room air respiratory rate is 20 per minute gcs i have already discussed Pupils on the left side, there's 5 mm, which is not reactive to light. And on the right side, there is 3 mm, normal reactive to light. By doing this, by seeing this slide, what we will go ahead, what we really, how we're going to approach with the patient. Thank you. So as we see that the GCS is low. Yeah. Uh, Good, Dr. J.K. Singh. So, uh, intubation, manual inline stabilization, very good. So, as we have started with the airway, what I've said, A, B, C, D, E, we will go like that only in every scenario. Let's go for airway. As we have seen, the saturation is low. We can start with an oxygen. Meanwhile, we see that the GCS is very low. Okay, we can intubate the patient right away by doing manual inline stabilization after intubation also make sure that the cervical spine motion is restricted by applying a cervical collar okay now by intubating a patient we make sure that the airway is patent we have to see the breathing also is the saturation is rising is the saturation is not rising so by in this patient when we go ahead for intubation the saturation saturation has reached up to 96 percent and we have secured the tube over there now the blood pressure is fine in this patient the pulse rate is fine saturation when we have intubated is also goes up so we are good and safe over there also now the respiratory rate is also okay now we can set on ventilator now there's one more thing pupils okay this left side, it is 5 mm. On the right side, it is 3 mm. That means there is an isochoria. Now, as the hemodynamically patient is okay, we have intubated. Now, the patient can be shifted to CT scan. But in these patients, when we are on peripheries, like there is no facility of going ahead for any neurosurgical intervention, and we know that we might need to transfer this patient to any other center, it is better to transfer the patient rather than wasting time for CT scan and any other formalities. But if you have a facility, if you are in a tertiary care center, you have a facility for a neurosurgeon, go ahead and go for CT scan of the brain. In this patient, we have gone ahead for CT scan. Yeah, sorry. So in this patient, we have gone for CT scan. And in CT scan, we have seen that. Yeah. So in this CT, we can see that there is white color in the CT scan on the left side, which is suggestive of blood. Okay. And there is in the center, there is a line which is shifted on the right side. Okay, so in this patient, it is very important to go ahead for a surgical intervention. So subdural hemorrhage, we can see. Okay, and midline shift. The patient requires an emergency, emergency uh, surgery through neurosurgeon.